Compiling shaders. What does it mean? It's easy to think that we're only seeing images moving around, but everything we see is actually code being calculated by our PC in real time as we move around the map. And if it's not calculated or compiled when you need it, the game will stutter. Take this bush for example. The bush itself is a 3D model, and the shaders is how it looks in-game by controlling things like color, light, shadows, textures, like reflection. And the first time you see this and pretty much everything else in the game, your PC needs to compile it. And that's why your 1% and 0.1% lows are so bad the first games you play on a new install. And the first time you break this exact bush, the whole game will freeze when compiling that animation. A shader usually only takes a few milliseconds to compile, but the game will hold that frame until the shader is compiled. If you watch this back in slow motion, we can see that the game actually freezes before it's destroyed, because it needs to compile before showing you the animation. Each season there are a few different items that will cause this like longer freezes. This bush, this concrete plant thing, this tree and this other tree, and ba basically a bunch of stuff on the map and that's why you often see me driving around destroying things when I'm compiling shaders. In Fortnite the time of day changes a lot, so in each light the shaders are a little bit different. This is one of the reasons why it takes so long to fully compile your shaders. Why can't Fortnite just pre-compile shaders? Well they do on console, but on PC there are too many different combinations of GPU, GPU drivers and settings. Epigens probably could if they wanted to. Those Bastards! No, 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 I'm just kidding, bro. I can understand that. A fully compiled shader is between 250 and 500 megabytes. Now, this is only my rough calculation here, but if we take 450 megabytes times 90 different GPUs times 25 different drivers times three different render modes, bro, that's 3,037,500 plus the game. I am not downloading a 3.1 terabyte game. Could Epic Games maybe add a shader compile option so you select your specs and driver? Probably, at least for like the most used and the latest specs. Or could Epic Games maybe add a UFN map to compile all the current shaders? Probably. Uh, I have a shader compile map, but there's a problem. Epic doesn't usually add the latest environmental stuff for us to use in creative until it's too late. So my map doesn't work 100%, but it helps a little bit. So when do you need to compile shaders? Always at first install, then a little bit when Epic Games updates the game, when doing a clean GPU driver install, and sometimes when messing around with the GPU software. On the left here, we have the first game on a new install, and on the right, I've played around three hours to compile shaders. I ran Catherine X during these games, and the 0.1% lows are about 100% better after compiling shaders. So if you're doing FPS testing, comparing drivers, or just download a Fortnite and it feels a little bit laggy, might just be your shaders that needs to compile. And that's basically it. Now, we don't really know anything about shader compile because Epic Games doesn't tell us. So this is just me guessing basically. <laughs> but it's a pretty good, it's an educated guess. I've done quite a, a few uh, shader compiles and I reinstalled Fortnite quite a lot. It's an educated guess. Thank you so much for watching this video. And uh, if you have any questions, leave them down below. Thank you for watching. Hold on.